All right, David, jump in. Come right along with me. Shotgun. Oh, watch your head. Where's my helmet at? Let's go. Let's go. Woo! Whoa, that's... Thank you for trusting me. I know, I'm a little nervous. Where's the seatbelt? No seatbelts. Uh. But please, give me a five-star review after this. <laughs> I don't know. You put me in the front seat. No, that's kind of Look awkward. at this guy, though. That's not... This is not safe. I know. He didn't we'll try even... to make this as smooth no as turning. possible because... <laughs> Turning signal. You know, I want to catch up with you at the same time. Oh yeah. While driving here today. Exactly. Not so, get hit. Yeah, not get hit. That's. I have some precious cargo here. <laughs> not gonna happen. Not today. Um, but yeah, let's just catch up a little bit about your off season. Obviously, you had a pretty, pretty big one. You have a yeah. newborn. Newborn. Yes. Very Woo! excited. London. We have people. Uh, I know. They're trying to race us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got a newborn in the home. Yes, What is London. the Johnson family household looking like now? Oh, it's chaos. Um, my wife is doing a lot, Megan. Mm -hmm. And really the biggest thing, especially in the summer, is trying to keep DJ active. Right. Um, you know, with the heat in Arizona, getting to 100. And he's an really active one. Much. Oh, he's has so much energy. <laughs> I it's wonder so, where he gets it from. I know, right? It's, <laughs> I can see why. It's so hard to keep him energized or keep him active because yeah. he has so much energy. And we'll go play at a place, play place or something, and he'll play the whole time, take a nap, and then be ready for another adventure. So, right. Yeah, that's probably been the toughest thing. We had to and go to Cali. And adjusting now to London. Yes. Uh, two months now, or two months. She is two months. Wow. She is a big girl too. She's uh, growing well, uh, she's developing well, and we're loving it. She is, um, you know, has all healthy, and you know, it's been a, probably a tough transition at the beginning, at least for DJ, because um, my wife has to do, you know, do so much for London right now. Yeah. And sometimes DJ feels um, a little, out. yeah, left out, yeah. jealous, so. Um, he used to it. Yeah, yeah, but he's, he loves her. He's a little aggressive. He's a boy. So <laughs> I know. Sometimes it's kisses. Now you got your little, you got your girl. I know, right? Got my pair. You're I in know. trouble. I know. I am. She's know. already, she's already got me. I know. Wrapped around her finger. Oh, okay. and and Megan is, you know, taking full advantage of it. <laughs> I know that you know family to you means everything. I'm just watching you over the years become a father. Yeah. You get married first, become a father. You're such a family man. So how do you just? lock in during these four months during this season of time where you know you're pulled in another direction and just having to leave your family your newborn at home and, and try to balance it off you know it's really tough um that's probably the biggest thing that no one really teaches you coming into the league is yeah. just balancing the off the field things uh, right. football comes easy we've been doing it for so long but mm -hmm. when you become an adult and when you have responsibility especially uh, children, kids, people right. that depend on you. That's probably the toughest thing, um, especially once the season comes because it takes so much time right. um, away from your family. Uh, football does. But, um, you know, my wife does a great job, like I said, balancing, you know, both of them. Uh, you taking you're care a of them. superwoman. I know, I know, and she is doing a great, great job of doing that. And so it makes my job a little easier. And like I said, we've been doing, I've been doing football for so long that it's not, you know, a tough thing to do. Um, really just the biggest thing is being away from them for so long. Yeah. Now going into this new season, this new era, new offense, I mean, how has it been for you just picking up the playbook and the terminology and is it something that's a little simpler for you in terms of, of uh, learning Cliff's offense? Yes, it is. Uh, it, it really is and it's, uh, it's, it's doing really well. Um, I'm learning it pretty well. Uh, Cliff's doing a great job. Coach Saxon is doing a great job of teaching the running backs, teaching me. And uh, the playbook is, um, you know, it's, it's simple, but I like that. It's simple because then that gives us a chance to, you know, move around fast. I've heard that a lot. It's simple, but there's so many, like, layers and elements exactly. to it that, you that, know, a lot is still unknown. Yes. But <laughs> that makes it professional. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it gives us a chance to be on the field fast. We don't have to think so much uh, throughout the plays, and that way we can just uh, be a cohesive group and everyone is on the same page. Why do you why do you think or have a feeling that it'll work here in the NFL? Since it's something that's never really been seen before without giving too much away, yeah. why do you think it works? I think the biggest thing in the NFL is it, it does a little bit matter about the system, but I think the biggest thing is how 
the, the players uh, okay. are being utilized with the system, yes. how well they're knowing the playbook, um, how well they can really uh, go out there and produce. Yeah. And that's, I think that's the biggest thing is um, having the guys be all in one unit and playing together and being on the same page. So I think that's why it's going to work really well. We're all um, learning the playbook and we're all uh, coming together and it's working out to, yeah. yeah, and it's working out together effectively together as one offense. And uh, I think with, especially not just that, but the weapons we've added. Yes. Uh, Larry's coming back, but you know, Christian's coming back from his injury. Andy and Isabella is looking good. Keyshawn is looking good. All the rookies, yes. Butler's looking good. The rookies are looking really well. And then we picked up the free agents with, you know, Kevin White. Uh, Bird, Cooper, who came back from last year towards the end. Mm -hmm. So I think with those weapons, obviously me and Chase are going to do uh, do well together. But you know, obviously our first round pick, Kyler, is, yes. is um, a that great little, quarterback. That little note. Yeah, exactly. Let do me you, add that you, in. Are you excited the way that you'll be utilized again? Just yes. Oh yeah, I'm very excited. Obviously, you love to be a pass catcher running back. Yes. So. Yes. Do you feel like this is your year to get a thousand, a thousand? It's got to be my year. Yeah. It's got to be my year. It's been my thing that I've wanted to do ever since I really got into the league. And then I was so close. It's about 16. Yes. Which is so long ago. Right. And Which doesn't feel so long ago. It doesn't, I mean, I but it is. I remember when you were a rookie, and, and here we are, year five. I know. And I got to get a thousand, a thousand. And I definitely feel like it's attainable in this offense, yeah. especially the way Cliff is wanting to utilize me. I don't want to give out a lot of details. We can. But yeah, we, can. we don't want to give Still. it out. On <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, but I think I think I have to be a unleashed. Chance. Yes, for sure. All right, now the uh, question fans want to know. You know what's Three star. <laughs> no, my rating. I'm talking about your rating. Oh, my rating. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were question talking. fans want to know. Do we, do we pick you up in fantasy this year? Yes, it we're, is. We're live. Live, Dave. We're live. Oh no. Here yes, I think yeah. I'm, they I'm, definitely come in the back. Dave, they they definitely should pick me up in fantasy. D. Rye. We can't hear you. You gotta come over yeah, here. Yeah, you gotta come over here. Come talk to the people. All right, here we go. I'm gonna ask about your. Uh, oh, he knows running. about me from college. I'm gonna ask about your. Everybody knows about me. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Take a seat. We're, we're live, live, baby. We got two cameras here. Oh, nice. Talk to us. Hey guys, David Rye, David Johnson. First of all, it's, it's <laughs> David. It's Just not Dave. Just take over, please. Okay? Take over. And D, I call you D. No, D no, but I mean it's David. Oh yeah, it's don't not, call me Dave. It's not Dave. I feel like you Dave. If you, I feel like a seven-year-old. That's like an eight. Your eight will start calling him Dave. No, no <laughs> don't call me Dave. I feel that makes it. Now I really feel like a veteran. This is David. This is how I look at it. David killed Goliath. It wasn't Dave. Yeah, no, oh, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like Dave, they gotta get there. Get it right. Dave sells hot dogs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sells insurance. Sells yeah. insurance. No, no. Hey, hot dogs and insurance are a good thing. I know, right? Um, but the, the main question everybody should be asking is where, yes. where do you get the triceps? You know what I mean? Oh, How do you get triceps right. like David Johnson? Oh, it started at <laughs> good old I'm Iowa. I'm not gonna ask. Good that old question, Iowa, dude. But we got him here. <laughs> Love it. What would you rate your cart ride? Uh, I would. I would give it a, a four. Four and a half. Four. It's because I don't have water, huh? That's no water. <laughs> gum. You gotta have the gum and the stay. I have some iced coffee. You don't need that I'm before practice. All right, get out of here. Go to practice. Pick me up Thank for you for fantasy. I won't make you down. I'll pick you up after make practice. You, yeah, I won't. I'll have your won't make you your, your post practice snacks in here. No worries. <laughs> <That's> perfect. <laughs> Thanks, David. Thank you.